Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial on creating spirals in After Effects. Now you'd have thought it would be very simple to create spirals in After Effects, but in actual fact it's quite a complex issue. There are a couple of ways of doing it, so I've got two tutorials, one about creating basic spirals and the other one creating spirals using a particular effect. But to start with, you'd have thought that you could do it with a shape layer. So I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to create a simple shape layer, which is just a line. Notice I've got no fill, I've just got a stroke, and my stroke is 12 pixels long. Okay, so I'm clicking one side of my composition screen, the other side, there is a line. Now, obviously, the tool that we would most likely choose if I open up my shape layer here, is I would use the twist tool. So I'd open it up and go to twist, and then when I apply twist, open up twist, it does create a spiral, but it's not the sort that we want because it goes into the middle and comes back out again. And ideally we want one that starts in the middle and goes out, or starts out and goes in, not goes in and comes out again. Because if we were to apply something like the Trim Paths tool and open up Trim Paths, then what we would discover is that the item trims into the middle and then back out again, which isn't what we want. Let me just demonstrate, trims into the middle and then back out again. Now that might be the effect that you want to produce but then again that's not a true spiral. It certainly is a very effective result but for what we want to do this isn't going to work. So if I choose trim paths and delete it and at the moment choose twist and delete it you'd have thought that the answer would be to select your layer and to open up your transforms and go down to your anchor point and maybe choose the pan behind tool and see if we can't move the anchor point for the shape all the way to one end and if you look down here you'll see that the anchor point is going to change so we can see that we are we are actually moving the anchor point for the shape itself. There we go, so it's at one end. I'm going to go back to my arrow tool, my selection tool, and now you'd have thought that selecting the shape layer and then going to twist would solve the problem, but look, it still wants to twist from the middle again. Twist isn't going to twist from the anchor point, it's just going to choose the beginning and end and the middle of the layer. So it's not going to work for us. We need to be able to create it in some other way just going to delete that shape layer for the moment and start again. The actual way you need to create a true spiral is to use another program. And I'm actually going to use Illustrator, but if you've got some other drawing package that creates a spiral, then use that. Now I'm going to create a new document, I'm going to create a video and film one, and I'm going to make sure mine is HDTV 1080 because that's what I'm using in After Effects. And you don't need to name it, you don't even need to save it. We're just going to create a path and we're actually going to copy and paste it across. But there is one gotcha, which I'll explain in a second. So I click OK, that's created. I think it would help if we could see the background, so we can go to View, and go down to High Transparency Grid and just click on that button, and then we can find the Spiral tool. Now it's under this drop down here where we've got a little line. If you click and hold the little drop down at the corner, you'll see that we've got quite a few tools including the Spiral tool. And if you want this to become a flyaway menu, just click on this little tear off button here and there it goes it comes a standalone toolbar item and we want the spiral tool now when you pull and drag you're going to create a spiral and it's just worth saying although I'm not going to do it that the shift key the control or the command key and the alt key will all change how the spiral draws so I'm not actually going to demonstrate those but do when you draw a spiral play around with the shift key the alt key the option key if you like and the um, command or control key depending on whether you're on Mac or on PC, and you'll find that you get different types of spiral. But at the moment, I'm just going to click and drag a standard spiral. That'll do for me. And that's all I'm going to do. Go back to my arrow tool, make sure it's selected, go Edit Copy, or Control or Command C, and then I could shut down Illustrator if I wanted at this point. I'm not going to bother, but I'm going to go back to After Effects. Now, what I want to do is paste in that path into After Effects. But you can't do it if you create a standard shape from this drop down here. So if I was to create a shape using any of these tools, it wouldn't work. 
actually what you need to do is create a custom path or a custom shape layer using the pen tool and the simplest way to do it is take your pen tool go at the beginning and at the end that's a simple path Mem bear in mind of course we don't have a fill here and now that we've created the simple path we can open up the shape layer so you can scroll down through its contents through its shape layer open up the shape path make sure shape path is selected and then edit paste or control or command V and then your spiral is brought into After Effects and all we've done is copy and paste a path from Illustrator into the path layer of a custom shape in After Effects. Now we can then open up the stroke because all we've got is stroke and we could, if I zoom in a little, we could perhaps change these butt ends. You can see we've got an option for line cap from butt ends to, to round cap. It gives us a slightly nicer look. And of course, if we were now to add down here and go to trim paths, and open up trim paths and start playing with that you'll see that of course it draws from the outside to the inside or if we were to do it from end from the inside to the outside so there you go you can actually create a spiral the disadvantage of this one is that the stroke width is going to be constant from one end to the other and quite often when you draw a spiral what you actually want is a thick end going down to a very thin end now you can't do that with the standard shape layer tools that I'm aware of in After Effects. However, you can do it with an effect. And it's an effect that I haven't demonstrated before. It's a very powerful effect for writing on. It's actually called the write on effect. And in the next tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to create a spiral that will draw on, starting very thick and giving a very thin end, and will be fully animatable in After Effects. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. My name's Andrew Davis. Thank you for watching.